So, <clears throat> now we've got another new destination that we're going to. Um, it's real nice. It's a desert. Okay, maybe it's not real nice, but it's a desert. So, we're going to the Beaconal Desert. <clears throat> now, um, one thing you might have remembered is we went to the Beaconal Desert and now it's a hot spot. We know we went to the um, um or well, the Jose Temple, <clears throat> and we met that guy, and he was like, "Oh man, um, you want to dig in the desert?" And we're like, "Yeah, sure." So now we're actually gonna go and dig in the desert. Now the thing is, it's recommended we only dig once to complete the mission. Otherwise, we might lose the one hundred percent. Bicanel Island. This is where the Albed's beloved home stood until two years ago. Most have moved on, but a handful of Albed's still live here today. They say countless machina lie buried under the desert sands. Leave the trailblazing to me! Um... I don't think that sand dune used to be there. That sand dune? You remember every bit of this desert? Oh man, this is a large desert. And we have encounters. Oh right, our new team. I feel like this team will do just fine. Protect? Ooh, SOS Protect or just Learn Protect. Yeah, I did give it that. Oh, nice. They actually did it. That's nice. But we're gonna have to heal them. Oh, well, this might be a bit of a harder encounter. Oh, he's charging up something, the Black Python. Power break, okay. And you? Full auto. Oh, wow. That's a lot of shots. Kira. Oh, you know Kira? I actually forgot I taught you that. Wow, nice. This is a nice team. Like, they're actually doing good. I enjoy watching not me fighting. <laughs> this is a bit confusing. Why are we just walking in the desert? Same fight, once again.
the big meat man we have to beat. The Yeti. Also, why is the Yeti now in the desert when it was in the ice biome before? Biome. Minecraft. Um, I don't actually know the, tr the, the full meaning of the word biome. I would like to know it, but I have never actually looked it up. Yeah, you know? Riku, you do know the way, right? Uh, Riku, are we in trouble? Uh oh. Well, unfortunate. Oh. Look, make a drone you suck to. Hot down, could I'm dropping off? Really speak in those languages, huh? Oh. Drabunapush Ekpedekush and Drana. Yeah, no, I understood completely what he said, believe me. It's locked, of course it is. There's something behind me, a save point? No way. It is. Of the merchants on this island, there is only me. Yeah, sure. That's really good. Not that I have the money for it. There we go. Save. And... See what this is all about. What do I have here? Wanna be diggers? Yeah. I need Nadala's permission first. This person? He says they had to move the camp to escape a sandstorm. We could have looked forever and never found it. There's a big sandstorm coming in. Mm, it's probably too big for the airship to handle. I guess we won't be leaving the way we came. Hmm. That's a problem. The serving Western Expanse, Southern Expanse, and Certain Expanse. Okay. That's where you're studying, huh? Is that the woman I have to talk to? No. Out on a survey. Well, that's just great. So, I'm supposed to go out on a search? Is that what I'm gathering from this? Can I even go out on a search? I can, technically. Oh, okay. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe I go back to this guy and talk to him? Alright, well, she's not here, so... That's, um... Perfect, might I say. So then what do I do?
Oh, there she is. Oh yeah, she looks a bit different than the others. Ikudoons, Erida Kudoons. Where is she? She near the entrance, or where did she go? Oh, I see her. All right, hello, Natalie. I'm busy, so make it or fast, Natala. okay? I've got lots to excavate and no one to do it. Uni, show her Gippo's letter. Yeah, I've got this oh, letter. Oh, so you're the new guys. That's us. Nice to meet you. Hmm, I guess the High Summoner's hard up too. Well, don't be expecting any special treatment. Right. Let's get to it then. I like the little drone. Here's where we are. And here is where you're headed. Oh, but it's so far. We'll send you out there by hover. Go talk to the pilot about it. All right. We'll dig once. And once it is. Because this, I don't want to lose the 100%. The Western Expanse, yeah, sure. With the partner? Oh. Hey, sweet cakes, nice to meet you. Mission critical item, item hover. Alright, well, I'm just going the mission critical item. Attack assembly A. Go back to hover before time expires. Alright. Yeah. That's it. That's what I'm doing. Oh no. Oh god. This is not a good fight. Turns you up a cure, I'm guessing. Yeah. What's that? It's golden. What's the golden bar? What? Why is his bar golden? Does he have slow? Oh, that's SOS Protect, okay. I think it's SOS. I'm not sure if it's actually SOS. Oh, he's doing the thing. He's doing the, like, 30 shot thing. The full auto. Oh, he did it. No way. That was, like, 5 shots. <clears throat> Just beat that guy anyway. There you go. You make a nice team. I'm not gonna heal them. I feel like I might regret if I don't heal at least the big guy. Alright, this dig is over. Just what we needed. You're good. What'd you expect? Mm, don't let it go to your head. But you did do a good job. I got Here. one thing. Your reward. Yes! Thank you. Mission complete. 100 guilt. Yeah. Still of night, Garmin Grid. And an elixir. 
Still of night. Let's see that. Silence and blind. Ooh. Ooh. That's really good. I'm not going to put anything in it right now. Oh, that... The globe actually shows us where we are. I, I never noticed that. I am so dumb. Anyway, we finished this zone. So, that's about all we had to do in this uh, specific zone. Come back anytime you like. We'll be here. Alright. Board the airship and we're going to Bevel. Not for a long time, we just go to speak to someone there. There is Bevel. No missions, just go there. New Yevon, a really bad place to be, you know. Oh god, this... Bevel remains at the heart of Spira, even today. It's also the place where I was born. I suppose that makes it my hometown, but I can't say that I have a lot of fond memories here. This... I was talking about um, the Youth League feeling like an Imperial kind of thing. This feels like an Imperial kind of thing. What does this feel like? Well, when I, fought, uh, when I first saw this scene, like right now, a few seconds ago, like the first shot of it, I was thinking, wait, this is like Protoss, if you know from StarCraft. It feels very much like the Protoss' race, of how they build stuff and their music and everything, you know? Alright, no thanks. Just walk up to the temple and meet Baralai at the entrance. Okay, we're, we're supposed to be Baralai. Guessing this old man is? No. Inside? Oh, inside. Is that the person? Yeah, please this way. Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, the High Summoner. I see you finally decided to join New Yevon. You do us much honor, my lady. Lord Braska, may he rest in peace, would be proud. I will summon the Praetor immediately. I beg your leave. We're not here to join you. Hushy, isn't he? should leave. Hey, what's the matter, Uni? Well, you see, there was this arrangement um, with the son of the chairman of New Ooh, Yevon. Yeah. I turned the offer down, but I thought it'd be kind of awkward. Yuna? Hmm? You're probably right. Let's go. Huh? No, wait! Uh, wait! Uh, hey! Oh! Huh. Wow. A pleasure, Lady Yuna. I am Barilai, Praetor of New Yevon. Wow. So, you're Barilai. the chairman's son? Ah, as it happens, the chairman has recently resigned, as did his son, the Praetor. They were trying to take too much power. We had to ask them to leave. Now the younger members run the party. By mutual consensus, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. So you see, Lady Yuna, it is not I that was meant to marry the High Summoner. Oh, my. Not that we wouldn't appreciate your support. On the contrary, you'd be most welcome. I understand if your feelings toward Yevon are mixed. But I would hope that you could put that aside and join our cause. 
Man, this guy is... The world is changing, and there are many who are finding it difficult to keep up. New Yevon wishes to help those who feel lost in the winds of change. If you'll excuse me, there are matters which require my attention. Oh, and should you come across any spheres of Spirus past, please do let us know. Because you really? want to cover up everything with a nice cover and uh, an ugly interior. So, what do you think? What? Pain? I think I've heard enough. What now? <sighs> well, we leave. That's all we do. I do like that guy. He's quite nice, though. I really do hope I don't have to, like, fight him or something. Actually, wait, does this game have... Oh! No, it does have special features. What? I tried activating them, but it didn't... What? I tried it before, but it didn't work. Also, that's, that's just straight up cheating. Well, so is technically supercharged, this thing. Yeah, that's... No. That's too cheating. Also, does it even work in this game? <laughs> what do you supercharge? There's no, there's like, uh, no over overdrives. Anyway. I don't like that. Th this, which is speeding up, and this, which is more or less encounters, I'm fine with. But like, F2 is, is a bit, a, a bit out there. It's, um, it's cheating. I could have easily used it in, what do you call it? Um, in Final Fantasy X, while I was trying to farm or something like that, but it, it's just such a yucky maneuver to do. Anyway, we're going over to a place known as the Calmlands. Now these were interesting places when I was here last time. They seem to be quite hard to, like, go around and stuff, but should be fine. The Calm Lands. Many summoners used to cross these plains, their hearts heavy with the weight of their pilgrimage. I was no different, but the Calm Lands we knew have changed. I have a hundred Argent credits. What? Well, I have a hundred open air credits. Open air what? Well? Playtime in the Callmans. Attractions are scattered throughout the Callmans. Talk to the attendants to play. You need credits to enter those attractions. Or you can purchase them from far from any attendant or win them if you're good enough. Two rivals. Each attraction has two attendants. They represent two, tar uh, two companies, open air and Argent. Talk to either attendant to open an attraction. Each company uses its own uh, credits. Open Air Inc. Open Air Credits. Argent Inc. Argent Credits. The attractions themselves are basically the same for both companies. You can trade in credits for prizes. Keep in mind that Open Air and Argent each stock a different uh, different set of items. Be a good customer, lend, uh, lead a helping hand, and the companies will grow. Throwing your support behind a company is bound to have an impact. I like the sound of open air, but we'll see, uh, we'll see. What's up with these people? Oh. Uh, I'm supposed to choose pu publicity menu. Open air publicity campaign? Yeah, sure, sign me up. X. Wait, 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 hold on. I press X when talking to someone? Publicity menu. 
größer bin. Oh wow. So I'm supposed to just go to people and press X. Oh god, encounter. Oh, this guy. Thunder. Yeah. Nice. So I could go all the way over there. Do I want to? I guess, yeah, sure. There's a save sphere, so I might as well go there. I'm not going to play any of, the, any of the games here right now, because this zone has some enemies that kind of destroy me right now even though I have some enemies some creatures that should destroy them as well but you know what I mean look this combo it's not gonna do much damage because oh god iron giant is on 100 HP it does have protect though so thank god for that still a hundred what happened oh they do zero. Oh, a sweeping blow from the iron giant that's unheard of Nice! Good job, Iron Giant! And Python. Let's save so that you heal up. Yeah! Uh, marry my son. No. Put a loins. So you call homeboy. It makes it lightly hard to have a wife. No. Why for my son? Uh. Tell me more. Why not? Sure. Okay, nothing here is that great. Iron Bangle, what is this? Ooh, that's actually really good. And this. But I don't have the money to get any of them. Well, board the airship. And now, for our following segment, we're gonna go over the creature creator. Develop creature. No, no, no. Creature history here. So we're gonna check in on the coyote. No, the flag python. Four. All right. So almost at the end. My life story. Uh, well, I'll promise uh, to keep. Uh, well, if you promise to keep it a secret, I choose to be. I chose to become a fiend. When I was human, I was the crack sniper of Spira's most feared assassin guild. I was Shira's best shot. I never failed to fulfill a contract that I took on. Spare no time, spare no mercy, that was my motto. Some contra uh, contracts I took when I was human, I still can't forget, like three years ago in Bevel. It was a high monk who held a lot of power within Yevon. I targeted him after a speech. Though he was surrounded by uh, gu guards, it was quite a risky gamble. So what happened? Well, of course, I fulfilled the contract, but I didn't escape on scath. Look, even my fiend form, I still have the scar I received on that day. So why did I choose to become a fiend? I had to do it to... It had to do with a juicy contract I got. The target is an individual of near immeasurable power. At the time, I felt that he had reached the limits of the sky. But failure is not an opinion in the guild. The only way I could improve my skills was to get a new body. The one you see before you right now. My body is now a gun. One which never runs out of bullets. Quick draw, automatic fire, I can do anything now. I've become the ultimate sniper. And now I have to go take care of that fat, juicy contract. 
let me just tell you this. Yeah, uh, I, I used to take great pride in my work. My whole raison d'etre, I think, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not really good with French, was to take on really hard contracts and complete them. Not so much anymore, though. The contract I was telling you about the other day, the target was you, you know. I pretended to join your team and bided my time. I had every opportunity, I, but I couldn't do it. This had never happened to me before. I'm not a sniper anymore, I'm just a coward. Shinra, do what you will with me. I'm sorry, man. And Iron Giant? Hmm. It's repeating itself, yeah. No, 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 not quite. This is a bit different. And this is the this is the first message again. Yeah. This is different. This is the same as the first one. Uh-huh. Alright. Well, we're gonna keep Flag Biden just a bit more until this story is complete. I actually do start to enjoy these. After... After a while, it seems they become quite fun. Well then, let's uh, actually save up here and then continue our way on to Mount Gagazette.